powerhouse every time you were on screen and no matter who you were on screen with whether it was Melanie or Tim or Dominique and what was it like it, it, it seemed like you'd been there all along so <laughs> what was it like coming into Winona Earth you know season three it's such a pivotal role um fucking weird <laughs> Winona Earp fan, and when I first was going through the process and, and auditioning for Mama Earp, putting myself on tape, which I did when I was on a trip in Buenos Aires, and I was with my daughter, I did a self-tape, and I was like, oh, I'm trying to do this, and, I, and my daughter was very patient with me, she said, Mom, just, okay, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to get the light right, and you've got your little cell phone, you know, and I'm going down this road going, is this woman? What? Where are we? Oh, okay. I like it. I don't know where we're going. Um, but then talking to my friend afterwards, okay, so give me the backstory because you can imagine if I had coming into something and I was like, I'm sorry, what? Sorry, so there's a demon who's right? Okay, wait, there's a portal. Sorry, hey, what? Okay, that, that means what? <laughs> and then I said, okay, she's been. It just is an incredibly rich playing ground, a playing field. So it's so fun, I think. I just think it's so fun uh, when you actually, like you've just said about female characters, when a character is just a character and she's female. So that meaning it, it's, she has all of these uh, positive attributes, but she'll have a lot of defects in character. And, it, and you just, you're just a person who's really complex, uh, and then you're smashing that up against all of the stuff you're really, the shit you're really up against in life, which then will be gender politics and uh, class politics, and I think there's all of that that then makes a character so fascinating. So it really was like getting to play, I have to say, and then just kind of free falling and going, okay, I don't know, uh, but I'm gonna try. And then the stuff really, because Mama, the first time we were introduced to her, it's like, is she there or is she not there? So is this really her or is this who Wynonna wanted, wished her to be? So, and we haven't seen her in a long time, and so it was fun for me to um, call you and say, okay, I got a few questions. <laughs> But then I realized that I wanted to um, start watching uh, Mel and then just mimicking her gestures because if she wasn't, so the part of me that's the actor and the part of me that's also jumps outside and sees things as a director, different things, I thought I'll start mimicking her gestures because if I'm not really there, how, like, how do we know I'm there or in her head? Or, and that was, and so I, talk, I was talking to Melba, you know, so I would just start to, so if she went up, I, my hand would go up. Or if she turned, I just turned my head. Or just little things to sort of tell that story because you got to get into it quick. Yeah. Um, not like my answer. <laughs> for audition, we write scenes that will never exist. So if someone finds it, I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah. I think it was back in time. Too. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I, think I, I think it was back when she was young. When yeah, there was one when she was younger, and then I think there was one on like, oh, there was one, you know how um, Mama talks about taking Winona camping one last time? I think it was at on the camping trip, is that right? Yeah. And Mama's trying to say to her, I'm gonna have to leave, and you have to be strong, and Hiding I see you. Right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, something's coming. It was good. It was a smorgasbord. Yeah, all kinds of stuff. A lot. Yeah. I just say, it's really nice to have you on a panel. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 
Yeah, I agree. But it's a blast. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, she's, she's not, she's not, she's messy. And I think that's the other thing that we've always, we've allowed male characters for so long to be clean, messy, dirty, funky, whatever. And then women are often cloaked in, you know, how appealing they are, especially for my generation and when I was a young actress, you know, honestly. Were you beautiful enough? Excuse my bluntness. Were your tits big enough? Were you? There was a whole thing. Were you the ideal of what someone considered? Could you be the girlfriend? Could you be the mother? Could you know? You were, and very rarely were you the story. Or if you were, it was quite unusual. And of course, I came into something that was very unique because Anne was the story. She was Spine of the story. <laughs> where, the, where, the, where the ribs and the bones around her, but she was the spine. And I didn't realize being younger, because I've been very fortunate. I've had that a few times. I thought, oh, that's what we get to do as yeah. women. Oh, yeah. And you do it more in the theater. Yeah. You definitely, there's a canon of those roles in the theater, and my family came from that, so you see that. But then you realize, oh, 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 that's <laughs> not what you. Oh, you know, so it's been, it's so exciting to see this final coming, or, you know, us coming into age, and we're just at the yeah. Yeah. beginning of that. It's so exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's, it's, it's hopeful. Yeah. I feel like it's hopeful. Yeah. Yeah. But we have to pay, that's a testament to Emily. Yeah. watching it and proving to my bosses that people want these types of stories and these types of characters. Thank you. I have had enough coffee. I gotta get <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in playing, like, like you